Hey guys, Paul here with Pat Deck. In this video, I'm going to show you why Camtasia 2022 is probably the most exciting upgrade yet. I'm going to show you all my favorite features. Let's get into it. So let's get started by taking a quick look at Camtasia's new user interface. It really is a welcome addition. It's laid out thoroughly well. You can see here that you can click on a new project, new from template. You can open an existing project. Uh, you can even start a new recording directly into Camtasia, Audiate, or Snagit. Uh, depends on what you're doing. And then down below here, you can see recent projects or templates. Uh, TechSmith is, is a, has a wonderful resource for um, tech support and tutorial videos. And these are just a few of them showcasing some of the new effects that are built into Camtasia 2022. You can click on these and run through a preview of how the effects actually work and what they're going to look like, which is a nice touch. On the left side here, I can see my maintenance agreement is expiring in 173 days. And then uh, just over on the left here, you've got Get Started, Learn, and Resources. You can see there's access to tutorial information here, which is another uh, nice touch. And then at, under Resources, you've got access to online help, community support, tech support, and some keyboard shortcuts. So all in all, the new user interface is uh, much appreciated, very well laid out, and I think it's going to be a useful addition to the new program. So this next feature was something I really wanted to emphasize and get across to you. And so I pulled this page right off the Camtasia support page uh, library, camera, webcam, and virtual cam compatibility. If you look down the list here now, it supports Logitech Capture, OBS, Elgato CamLink 4K, Logitech Brio. So they've really updated the list of webcams that uh, they're offering support for. And I think that's been kind of a weak spot with Camtasia in the past is um, webcams haven't always played so well with Camtasia, but now I'm able to use my Elgato uh, CamLink 4K. I'm actually recording this segment uh, using the 4K dongle going into my Sony a6000 and that just gives us such a, a better quality uh, webcam capture, uh, so to speak. So this next feature for us content creators, I think is going to have a ton of potential and that's the ability to add a cursor path to your clip. And when you do so, you end up with, let's say that uh, I have a nice path here that's been created. It drops it onto the template and I don't know, we're gonna do something wonky here. You can grab these tail ends like this and move this around, but probably I'd, I'd wanna be doing something that's you know a little smoother curve. Click on here. Uh, I can click in the timeline, like on the path itself and add a cursor point if I wanna get really funky and drag this out like this. I can turn this like this. And then what you'll end up with is uh, down on the actual frame itself, you can take your points and move them around from left to right. We can play it. And now you'll see that your cursor is going to follow. That's a really slow motion because I've stretched this out, but let's move, just move that back a little bit so it's a little smaller. And now it's gonna move through and I think this is going to be a really powerful feature for helping to illustrate different components on uh, graphics that we're using. So without a doubt, one of my favorite new features in Camtasia 2022 is the blend mode effect. And basically what Camtasia or TechSmith has done is they've given us all the blend modes from Photoshop that you're, you know, you've come to know and love, and they've incorporated them into uh, Camtasia. And so if we come over here to visual effects, you'll find the blend mode uh, effect at the top here. And what I've done, just so that you can see, I've got uh, basically a static image here on the bottom. And I've got a motion graphic that I put on top. And I'm going to share kind of two features in one here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the motion graphic and I'm going to go to repeat media and I'm going to say extend right. And when I do that, you'll notice a very faint stitching line here. So I can grab this handle and drag it out. And now my motion graphic has been basically repeated as a ripple graphic or sorry, as a, as a, a ripple stitch. And so it's not like uh, taking two me uh, pieces of media and just slapping them side by side. It's already stitched together for you. And so I can drag out my other clip here. And now when I come up to the blend mode and I drag it down, and if I play this, you'll see you've got a really cool effect here. The motion graphic is moving over the uh, static image 
and you can see the blend modes that you can select here. These are all what you're, you've come to know and love in, in Photoshop, basically. You can select any one. You'll have hours and hours of fun playing around with these ones, believe me. Oh, color burn, that looks interesting. So this is just, you know, we could be here all day playing with uh, this one particular upgrade, but this is probably one of my favorite uh, upgrades that I've seen so far. So the next upgrade that I'm going to take a look at is the new 2022 library. And if we click here, for myself personally, I would say the, you know, one of the most exciting um, changes or updates is first of all the indicators that are now available so let's just go back to media here and let's grab this uh, sony lens here and let's blow this up a little bit for you let's put that here i guess close to the center of the screen and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the library and for the indicators, um, click on this one here. And if you just double click, you can see an example of what you're going to get. So then if I take this and drag it down onto my graphic and let's just quickly go low here. Let's turn the playhead snapping off so it doesn't drive me insane. And we'll click on the image. We're going to expand it to the same size. And now just, so now you can see um, the power of these little callouts here. And you can change the size of them, you know, as needed. You can move them around to whatever you want. Um, and then they're all grouped so that if we expand the group, you've got some editability uh, with the individual pieces. You can come back over and close the group. So, and the one that is uh, even more interesting than this one, I've been waiting for it for such a long time. And just before we go away, so you have the properties panel over here. And if you click on it, you've got some, you can change the color uh, for your callouts. You know, if you want white, I mean, this is one that I've been waiting for for a long time. This is typical of what you would see in Adobe After Effects, but now we've got it available to us in Camtasia. Okay, so now let's just close this one. And the next one that I want to show you that I think is super powerful um, is the indicators with text. And this one, for example, is just, you know, this is a game changer. You're going to save us a ton of time. So you can resize these, you know, let's say we'll make it something like this size. And, you know, let's open the group here and see if we can find the titles in here. We can, whoops, expand that. And we'll just call this uh, focus hold button. Come down here and click on this one. Let's put one of two for demonstration purposes. Then we can come over here. And you've got, of course, you've got the new groups functionality, so I can close this group. I can close this one over here. I can close. Uh, the entire set all in one swoop. So this feature alone is, I, I would say the Camtasia 2022 library with all of the assets. And this is just, you know, we could spend weeks going through each one of these, but if you want to see them, a simple way to do it is just double click on them and they'll pop up. You see exactly what you get. You've got so many variations, so many colors. And if I close this, now you can see in the properties panel, you have all, you know, you can change the border color, you can change the background, you can change the indicator itself. Uh, you know, you can uh, rejig your text here, you can change the numbering, whatever you want. So the fun you can have with uh, this upgrade for sure is just endless. So the next effect that I think is worthy of taking a look at is the channel kit. And this is definitely geared towards YouTubers. Uh, if you're looking for a ready-made lower third, 
I mean, there's a few of them here that are just going to save you a ton of time for sure, which is great. I mean, this, you know, that's what uh, Camtasia is all about is productivity and being efficient. And so we'll close that. Cursor animations. You know, if you need a double click button for the cursor, you've got it or a double click uh, function on the cursor. And you've got a Windows and Mac options here, which is uh, definitely uh, much appreciated. Cursor packs, uh, the emphasis effects are kind of interesting. There's so many of them. Just click on a couple of them here. You can see what they're doing. And let's go down a little bit. Fills and overlays. Okay, this one is going to be very much appreciated and a real crowd pleaser. So let's take something like this uh, dark gradient. I'm going to drag it on top of my image here and see what happens when so it's uh, essentially doing a nice kind of a color grading effect for you and that is something that um, we've been able to do since 2021 we can put tints and stuff like that but this is kind of taking it to another level because you can open this up and you can play around um, with the intensity um, of these effects and of course over on the right here you've got the properties uh, for the gradient or the the effects that you're applying on so you can have again hours and hours of fun playing around with the different colors and making modifications that way and just putting that uh, nice finishing touch on your graphics so from what we've seen so far folks i think it's pretty fair to say that this camtasia update uh, for 2022 is one of the most robust feature packed updates that we've seen yet and most uh, one of the most beneficial for efficiency and just proving improving the overall quality of what you're doing so if you found the video useful uh, please hit the subscribe and like buttons uh, and the notification bell and um, i'll have more content uh, like this coming in the not too distant future thanks again for watching and i will see you in the next one